kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Movie makers. One day, Cookie Candy and Pudding were excited about a new project. What's that noise? Sounds like a whale. It's, it's Daddy! Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, kids. We really want to make a movie, but don't know how. Oh, well, you're going to need a director and a scriptwriter and a camera person. But, but what, what do those, those words mean? Well, a screenwriter makes up the stories. A director tells the actors what to do. And the camera person records it all on the camera. Stories, and I like to tell people what to do. <laughs> I guess that makes me the cameraman. Uh, only I don't exactly have a camera. Don't need one. Nowadays, you can make a movie on a phone. Mommy! Mommy! We're gonna make a movie. Can we pretty please borrow your phone to use as our movie camera? Of course. Just uh. don't lose it. All right. Me wow. Me wow. Me wow. Me wow. The cast of the movie has arrived. Boris, Chase, and Cupcake. Neo! What's with these costumes? Our movie's supposed to be about pirates. Well, I'm the beautiful and perfect pirate princess. And I'm a pirate alien from the planet R. Pew, pew, pew! I, of course, am a traditional pirate clown. I'll be in my trailer. We can make it work, but first, we'll need a ship. A broom and a bedsheet turned the sofa into a fine sailing vessel. Well, is the camera on? Uh, uh-huh. All right then, action. Action means do something, otherwise the movie will be a snore. Hey, what if we rock the boat like we're in some kind of storm? <laughs> Oh, I can jump too, because I'm a clown after all. <laughs> and I can fall down without hurting myself. Cut! Um. What on earth was that? <laughs> Whoops! I think our ship must have sunk. Pew pew! How am I supposed to work like this? Wait till you hear what happens next! Whale attack! But who will play the part of the whale? Who else? He'd been practicing whale noises in his sleep all day. Daddy was a natural. <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's time for my song now. Huh? Hey, Granny's not supposed to be in the movie. Oh, I see, it's a phone call. Hello, Granny. No, it's not Mommy, it's just Pudding. I'm making a movie. Pudding, darling, help! The forest is a peaceful place. It's silent and furry. And lovely as my furry face. <gasps> <laughs> hey, Pudding, did you get all that? I don't know, because I lost Mom's phone. Uh-oh. Mom's going to be upset about that. We got to find it. Our movie's on it. Well, that's where my dance shoes went. Down the barbecue floor. I got it. No, that's a worm. No, no luck. What am I going to say to Mommy? <laughs> I think I have an idea huh? for this scene, but I'll need the whale's telephone. <laughs> Candy's idea was a good one. <laughs> and the movie camera was found. Hooray! That evening, they held a big movie premiere. What'll we do if they don't like our movie? Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we now present High Seas High Chase. <laughs> 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 Please, everyone, this movie has been awarded the coveted prize for Best Picture of the Year. Amazing! <laughs> Would the filmmakers please come forward to receive their delicious award? And that is how Cookie, Candy, and Pudding made a movie masterpiece and won the Academy Award. Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. Are we going to the stadium too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. 
In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win. And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags. No! No! Huh? Uh, uh, oh, no! Oh, what happened, honey? There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Oh. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, all right, maybe I can bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's do it! Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announce the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The stadium is completely full tonight. The home team leads to the score of two to zero. The captain's power kick, the ball soars high into the air, and it's by the way to the hands of the Muffin Young Fan. Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! <laughs> Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons, after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, 
that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw. I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now pudding, after me! <laughs> I think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. Yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can-can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't can't can can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. Even, Even pudding, pudding too? too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. Hmm. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, Hi, no, guys. No, no, right? no need to be nervous, my See? loves. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> Come on, pudding! It's time! Me wow, 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 me wow. Be doing that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Meanwhile, 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 meanwhile. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family. First airplane adventure. One morning, mommy and daddy came in with some exciting news. We are leaving for a family vacation tomorrow. And guess what? To get there, we'll all be flying in an airplane. An, an airplane, airplane for real? real? Oh, wow. We haven't been on a real airplane before, guys. How does it work, Dad? Well, first, all of us will head to the airport. It's kind of like a house where all the airplanes live. Then they'll take all our luggage. Oh. Hey, stop. And then they'll check our tickets. One, two, three, four, but where's five? Five. Then we'll actually get on board, take off, and fly high above the clouds. Above the clouds? That's how high it goes? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next day, Mommy and Daddy and the kitty cats took a taxi to the airport. Come on! We don't want to be late for the plane or it will leave without us. Huh, really? First, we wrap up all our bags here so that nothing bad happens to any of them.
It's just the big ones that need to get checked in. Pudding, no! And now we'll find out where we'll be sitting. I want to sit by the window! Well, I want one on the couch safe back at our house. Okay, now. Pudding will sit with cookie and candy. And this machine shows what's inside our bags. They're looking for liquid because you can't take that on board. Really? Oh. Hey, you can't take that bottle on the plane. Oh, guess I'll just have to go home then. Oh, you can just drink the water here and then get on the plane. Aww. Hurry up, or we'll be late. Good. Now come on. Not yet. I have to visit the restroom. Attention, please. This is the final boarding call for Cookie, Candy, Pudding, and their parents. All right, hurry! Wait for us! I don't want to fly above the clouds. Just leave me here and go. You don't want to go on our trip? I do, but I'm really scared to fly. <laughs> I have a really good idea. What do we normally do when we're scared of something, Pudding? We scream, help, 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 help! No, we close our eyes. And then we're not nearly as scared, right? Candy and Cookie helped Pudding get on board and find his seat with his eyes closed. Wowee! We're flying incredibly high! The clouds look really magical and fluffy. Huh? Oh, wow. This isn't scary at all. In fact, it's pretty awesome. Soon we'll be serving some nice snacks and beverages. But in the meantime, how would you like some comic books or magazines to look at? Would you look at that? I can't believe I was afraid to fly because flying is so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Uh. Just tell me, are we in the air yet? Yes, darling. Super high. Is there anything that I can bring you? He'll be fine if he just sits with his eyes shut. Poor thing doesn't like flying. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'll be fine. Just don't let go of my paw, okay? The kitty cats ended up having a great time on the real airplane. And Brave Pudding wasn't afraid of flying anymore. <laughs> Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments. <laughs> or dance parties. Oh, we can play so many games up there. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room. <laughs> It's still the same as before. Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It 
It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh. Whoa. I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? Oh! Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. These silly sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Oh. Oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that! I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh, no. Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. 
I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ha! Grandma, that was amazing! You look like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we... Do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Kittens on time. One day, Cookie, Pudding, Candy, and Mustard were playing on the playground. Putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Mm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday. Day, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. <sighs> Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. <laughs> I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time. I'm ready, everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. <sighs> the next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did Ooh. somebody order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> But the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, Kindly stuff huh? your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. 
I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Uh, maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever! I mean, super big! <sighs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea! Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off. If Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since. Lifeguards. One day, the kittens and daddy were visiting Grandpa. What a perfect day for fishing. I'll sail out a little way and catch a whopper that's humongous. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, we'll be fishing closer to shore than your father will be, but you still need to wear your life jackets. Back in my lifeguard days, cats would sail with no life jackets at all. Were you really a lifeguard, Grandpa? So cool. That must have been the coolest. Oh, help me. Help. Oh. Oh. We should all be lifeguards just like Grandpa. to save. There's no one here but the fish and the seagulls. You got that right. No one to save out here. So let's just catch some fish. It's fun if you give it a chance. No! Almost lost it. Oh, yeah. Let's toss this overboard and then rescue it from the water like real lifeguards. No, it'll get soaking wet. Shh, kitties. You'll scare the fish. Hey, Candy, what if you were to jump in the water and we could save you? Come on. You're wearing a life vest. But that's not fair. It's your idea you jump in. Then Pudding and I will save you. Huh? No way. I don't want to be saved. I want to be the saver. <laughs> We can save the fish from the seagulls. Whoa. Hey, burgling bird. Aw, we make lousy lifeguards, don't we? Uh -huh, I got a bite. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Ah! Daddy had accidentally turned the boat motor on. Huh? Help! Huh? Oh. Daddy! Oh. Daddy! My son! Uh, oh. Attention! It's time for a real rescue operation. <laughs> Daddy! The lifeguards are coming! Now grab my paws. But Daddy got swept up by the current. Kittens, throw your Daddy this rope and pull him to the boat just like a fish on a hook. Oh. Our paws were too slippery to hold on. We're the worst lifeguards ever. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We'll catch 
catch Daddy with our fishing rods. A wonderful idea, Candy. Let's do it. So the kittens went daddy fishing. <laughs> You've really caught a big one, kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kittens. You just saved your daddy. That means you're real lifeguards. And don't worry about the broken rods. I'll buy you some new ones as a reward for saving my sweet little boy here. <laughs> <laughs> my boat. Grandpa turned off the motor on Daddy's boat. Careful now, or we'll have to save Daddy all over again. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, everyone enjoyed the fish Daddy caught, and the kittens told Mommy all about their rescue mission. Writing stories. One day, Candy, Cookie, and Pudding wanted their daddy to read them a book. I want a lovely princess book. But one with lots of pirates. Also with lots of mushrooms. Right, that's one princess <sighs> book, one about <sighs> pirates, ha! and an encyclopedia of ha! mushrooms. I don't want to hear another book about a princess. I mean, not really. Well, I don't want to hear another book about pirates. But the mushroom book's good, right? Oh, oh no, no, not, not that, that again. again! You guys need to get together and write a book of your own that has a princess, pirate, and uh, mushrooms. We're going to be real writers! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! We'll come up with a story, guys. And Daddy will write it up for uh, us. Hey! Oh. But it turned out writing books isn't easy. Well, why aren't we writing? Hey, uh... Mm. Ah, got it! Huh? Uh, nah. It seems like we're not coming up with anything. You need inspiration to write a really good book. Inspiration? Well, inspiration is when you haven't got any ideas, then one just pops in your head. Oh! I've got an idea! Deep in the woods. I've got one. We I start in the moon, and there's a really space pirate ninja mushroom battle thingy with fungus monkeys. Pants. Stop. And... That won't work at all. Only one of you needs to start. Then let someone else take over. Daddy's right, guys. I'll start then. Deep in the woods, there stood a beautiful mushroom. Right? Not right. A castle. The home of a clever princess. She sat in her tower and looked around. Princess sat and looked around. <laughs> Pretty good opening. My turn. Then suddenly the castle was attacked by... Mushrooms. <laughs> Not mushrooms, Pudding. Pirates. Uh, okay then. Yo-ho! The pirates picked up the castle and took it with them on their ship. And then the princess looked out of her window and saw a giant... Mushroom! Uh, ocean shroom, yeah! Come on, why would there be an ocean shroom? You guys got your princesses and pirates, so why can't I have mushrooms? <laughs> All right, what am I putting then? So what's my family doing? Ha! Huh, your kitties have decided to become riders! We're looking for something cool and awesome to attack our pirate ship! We need something really good! Ha, sounds fun. Could you open this? You could use some sort of giant... Oh, a mushroom, maybe. <laughs> Mom, that's exactly what I said. Huge mushroom wants to sink the ship. <laughs> Left turn, matey. Now right turn, matey. Left turn. Right turn. Left turn. Right turn. Beware! <laughs> Here comes the giant mushroom! <laughs> <laughs> Pirates, prepare to repel the giganto shroom! Oh. <clears throat> but the mushroom had a giant metal helmet, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey! I have a really good idea! We should beat the giganta shroom by boiling it, like in soup, right? Because boiled mushrooms couldn't hurt a ship at all. Then the pirates defeated the terrible mushroom. And then made friends with a clever princess. And they went on to have awesome adventures together on the sea. The end!
A mushroom princess pirate tail. <laughs> it's such a good story. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I can almost smell the mushroom boiling. That's mushroom soup that you smell. My little writers, it's lunchtime. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And after their yummy lunch, Daddy printed out a copy of The Princess, the Pirate, and the Giant Mushroom of the Sea, written by the Kitty Cats. Scary Cats! It was the Kitty Cat's yearly Fright Night, and a very excited Cookie, Candy, and Pudding dressed up in spooky costumes to scare each other. I'm going as a monster! <laughs> and I'm going as a little witch! And I'm going as a, uh, skeleton, see? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Boo! Were, Were you scared? scared? Oh, my word! You are so scary, you turned me into a Freddy cat! <laughs> Mom's right. You sure do look super spooky! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we scared Mom and Dad. But who's gonna scare the three of us? Aw, uh, nobody could scare us. We're way too brave for that. Why don't we invite some of our friends over? One of them might be able to scare us. The first frightful friend was Cupcake. Okay, Cupcake, scare us. I'm not Cupcake. I'm Princess Spider Cupcake. Boo! Cupcake isn't exactly terrifying. Oh, well. But at least I'm beautiful. The next petrifying pal was Smudge, who loved scaring his friends. Oh, I'm a crow traveling night. Testing. I'm totally a spooky vampire. Hmm. Well, sorry, Smudge, but that didn't work either. I think it's impossible to scare us kittens. So, everyone having a great fright night? No, we're not even a little bit frightened. Hmm, not scared at all, huh? Okie dokie. Well, we're just going to do some gardening. So while we're gone, why don't you decorate the house? You know, with scary stuff. Spooky decorations are exactly what we need. Excited, the kitties and their friends went to work. Cookie drew some fierce monster faces. Cupcake cut out a bunch of paper spiders. And everyone else made ghosts and bats out of tissue paper. Count of three, we all turn around and see how scary it is. One, two, three. Huh? Uh, it's actually kind of pretty. I know, and it's supposed to be scary. What if we tell each other scary stories? Vampire Smudge knew tons of scary stories. Yeah. It was a cold and dark and stormy night. Nope, I'm still not scared. I know how to make it scary. Not, not bad. bad. All right. It was a cold and dark and stormy night. Okay, I'm scared. I'm not scared. Smudge hasn't done anything spooky yet. Huh? Candy, uh, how did you turn out the hall light from over here? I didn't. Oh, no. Someone must be out there. <laughs> or maybe it was just the wind? Or could it be an actual ghost? <laughs> Or could it be a big black bat? Well, whatever it is, I know just how to handle them. Cookie had a bright idea. Go, Cookie! You're so brave. Ah! Guys, there's two giant bats as big as cats! Ah! <laughs> hey there! Did somebody say something about giant bats? Boo! Did we scare ya? <laughs> <laughs> Guess you were right, Cookie. These bats are exactly the size of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Your costumes are absolutely awesome. I totally thought you were real bats. Goodness, your decorations are all just so creative. In fact, they're so pretty that it's almost scary. Ready for a happy surprise? Candy Darling, the likes. What could it be? Oh. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's Fright Night cake turned out to be frightfully delicious. The kittens ended up sharing a funny, yummy Fright Night with family and friends.
Thank <laughs> you.